I'd like to welcome you to the House Republican uh, press, presser today. Um, today is uh, day 28 of the second special session and day 178 of uh, the continuous days that we've been in session. Um, I'd like to thank the members that are here in Juneau. I have with me uh, Representative Steve Thompson, Representative Mike Chenault, Representative Delana Johnson, Representative Dave Tallarico, Representative Sadler, and Representative Rauscher. Uh, we're here today to talk a little bit about House Bill 111. And first and foremost, I want to thank all the hardworking Alaskans that took time out of their day at 3 o'clock yesterday in Anchorage to go and attend the conference committee that was held in Anchorage. It was great to see those folks that are engaged, that actually are in the uh, business of uh, producing oil and gas for the state of Alaska show up and and support their industry and make sure that we know that they're out there listening and watching us so I just want to make sure we thank those folks so uh, we have uh, watched the conference committee yesterday unfortunately the house has gaveled out till Friday but we believe uh, the house Republicans believe that there's still time to come up with a solution we think that this is urgent um, versus important. There's important things that we need to do, but there are urgent things to do, and this falls under the classification of an urgent thing to do. Uh, we're bleeding a million dollars a day. Uh, we know that there's agreement, general agreement amongst um, both bodies that this is something that we could do, and we believe with just Friday and Saturday left that um, we'd like to invite the House majority to come down and finish our business and at least uh, get that off the table. I think it would be a win for Alaskans if we, we at least took that step um, this last two days of, of us being here in special session. I want to encourage them that we're here ready to work with them to compromise. Uh, we heard yesterday that of the 40 sections of House Bill 111, we're in agreement on 35 of those sections. That's pretty great. Uh, that's a that's um, something that you don't see accomplished very often uh, when it comes to compromise. I think both sides on the issue have compromised very well, and we know the ability to get rid of the cashable credits is just a grasp away. It's just a day away. So we're hoping that um, by us being here and available and ready and inviting the House majority to join us here, that we can accomplish something that's really important for Alaskans. So with that, I was going to let our conferee, um, Representative Tallarico, make a couple statements about the process and about what his thoughts are on House Bill 111. Uh, thank you very much. And I also I want to echo all of those sentiments about the people that have stayed engaged and the, the folks that showed up in Anchorage and those people that watched online and and uh, have really paid close attention to what we're doing here as we as we go through the process. I think that's important. And we always want to hear from Alaskans on what we're doing. Um, that, you know, House Bill 111 right now, um, we've, we've got some really points of agreement that are, that are critical and, and would be great if we could move forward on those. The, the big things that we have right now that people agree on are cashable credits, um, the interest rate, um, which, which came into question, the ring fencing, and, and um, having a working group to continue working on tax policy. And uh, everyone, I think, I think everyone's committed to those things. Those things are very important to have uh, at this point in time. And uh, that's, um, there, there's some disagreement, of course, on, on the net operating loss credits. That's, that's no surprise whatsoever. But what we have right now, we have in agreement, would be a substantial step forward. If we could move forward on those particular things, it's, it's for the benefit of everyone in Alaska. It would, be, it would be for the benefit. A lot of folks have looked at our tax policy, and it's very complicated. It's large. There, there are a lot of different working pieces and things. And I think a commitment for people to also participate in a working group, in particularly the other body, um, is certainly a good sign that, that we realize that we'll be looking at this for a while. I did have a constituent get a hold of me and say, can't you just do a one-time fix? Well, you know, we might be able to do a one-time fix if we could determine that we'll know what the price of oil will be for the next 15 years and everyone will have the exact same price and the exact same way to operate and this and that. Um, it, it will probably never be static. It's very hard for us to come up with a perfect piece of legislation. But this would be a substantial step in the right direction for us. And so I think uh, I'm hoping, I'm forever the optimist, and I'm hoping that we will, because we do have time. We have time to get this finished and move forward on this. So optimistically, I'm, I'm really hoping that we get an opportunity to take those provisions that we have right now that we agree on and put those in place. I, I think, uh, it, like I say, it would be good for all of us. It would be good for the state of Alaska. 
Um, one of the key things I think that uh, we've got some time invested in this and, and we've worked pretty hard to get to this point. Um, I don't want to try to pursue the perfect and ignore the good. And we, we have a good solution right now. This, this is really good. And, uh, the, you know, we worked substantially on some things last year. We dealt with Cook Inlet tax credits last year in HB 247. And now we have an opportunity to deal with the cashable credits and those other larger things that I mentioned. And optimistically, I'm looking forward to getting this resolved before, uh, before we end this second special session. I also have two other resources um, members here on our committee. So I'd like to let Delana Johnson, Representative Johnson, do you have some comments? Thank you. I do. I, I also am I'm just I tickled pink uh, that uh, we are addressing uh, the end of cashable credits. Uh, I spent a lot of time in my district, and nearly without exception, people agreed that it was time to take a look at the cashable credits. Um, and we have 60 legislators that agree that we have now it's a time to do something with cashable credit. So that's a big deal. That's a big win. If we can get this done for Alaska's, it's exciting. I mean, I think we're right there. We're right on the doorstep of, of accomplishing something that we can really we can really take home to our districts and 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 agree to. Um, and I, I think it's important that we don't let. Uh, uh, good policy get bogged down in, in, in politics right now because we're right at the finish line. We can cross winners and, um, um, you know, uh, we can, we, I, I'm excited about where we're at and I'm, I'm hoping and I'm, I'm, I'm have some concerns about where, where we may end up, but I think we're right there and we're, I'm, I'm excited about that. We're spending a million dollars a day. It's not the time to, to slow down and, and, uh, uh, really, worry about where we're going so um, I think we're still in a good place I think we we most agree that we shouldn't have deductions without production um, I think I think the Senate has really put a lot into this and um, we're there we're there and we need to uh, keep moving this forward I'd like to see uh, the the other our, our house majority come to uh, to Juno, the House Democrats we need to get everybody here and get this this taken care of because that I know that's what my district is looking for Representative Rauscher, do you have any comments? Yeah, I, uh, I just appreciate the uh, work that has gone on so far. There has been a lot of work. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, discussions. I believe that there has been some compromises, which got us to 35 of the uh, 40 sections that we all agree on. I think it's important just to take it to that last finish line. I think this year is the year to do it. I think if we don't do it this year, there are... Uh, it's going to cost the state a lot. We're already losing jobs. We're, we're, we're bleeding jobs. We're not just bleeding money out of the state. We're bleeding jobs on the North Slope. A lot of uh, my friends are uh, wondering when they're going to go back to work. And uh, if we don't find a way to get through this, uh, it could be even a, a rougher situation for them in the, in the coming months because it's going to be coming up to the winter time when everybody's usually hired again. So this is really important that we solve this soon. Thanks. Representative Sadler? Uh, thank you. Uh, real briefly, I don't want to get to questions, but uh, this is not a political question. This is a purely fiscal issue. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make sure the stakes are clear. You know, cash flow credits um, are costing us a million dollars a day. We're bleeding that million dollars a day out of our treasury. And uh, we know how difficult it was to pass an operating budget. A million dollars a day would have been a tremendous advantage in trying to settle our, our fiscal problems in the operating budget. A million dollars a day means maybe seven more state troopers to keep Alaskans safer. It could mean 10 more teachers in good schools. It could mean more in-home care for seniors. A million dollars a day could mean more OCS workers to put more foster children into permanent loving homes. You know, if, if you think of cash flow credits as a credit card, it's important to stop adding to the balance. Uh, we need to end cash flow credits and cut up our credit card. And I look forward to your questions. Thanks. Representative Thompson? I'm ready for questions. You know, the, the million dollars a day, uh, one day would fund seven troopers for a year. Yeah. That's the thing that I'm looking at that has to be done. And the Democrats to not address that and have it happen this year is going to hurt. I mean, we've got to get this done. Representative Chenault? Let's go to questions. Okay. Um, and if you have a question, just raise your hand and we have a microphone that Raina will run to you. Um, Liz Rains with KTVA. 
yesterday, uh, lawmakers in, in talking about a compromise on the House uh, Bill 111, the oil tax legislation, they weren't even at the same table. Um, House members said that the reason they didn't fly down to Juneau was because of the high costs of session. They pointed to KTU's website and the counter there that's you know counting up how much special session costs. And that's a little bit misleading because it's assuming that lawmakers are claiming per diem um, during this time that they're not in Juneau. Uh, show of hands, how many of you are claiming per diem while not in Juneau? We're in Juneau. We're in Juneau, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're ready to even, work. even when you were not here in Juneau working? No. Go ahead, You know, I don't want to get into weeds on it. Uh, the governor called session for Juneau. In order to take action, the legislature has to meet in Juneau. So uh, we're here, we're ready to do our business, try to get uh, this cashable credit issue off of the table, save Alaskans money. And uh, <clears throat> in order to take action, even if there was a compromise, in order to take action, those same members will have to get on an airplane and come to Juneau in order to uh, finish uh, what the governor has put on the call. We're ready, we're here, and ready, willing, and able to uh, complete the task that the governor uh, brought us down here for and uh, ready to go. So Liz, on that point, you know, um, we could come down here and we could save the state a million dollars a day. And I think, you know, we get to a point where January we've, we've, we haven't taken care of this issue. That's $200 million a day. I think that that's the most important thing that we can say is that if you really want to stay, save the state money, Let's talk about this. Let's talk about cashable credits. We all agree, I've, I've, we've talked, I've told you that we've seen almost every single member of the legislature, all 60, get up and say, this is a point of agreement. So to, to save the state real dollars, this is, the, this is the opportunity. We have an opportunity in the next two days for the House Democrats to come down here and, and commit to us that they actually do want to save the state money. And I think this is the perfect time. Uh, the, the Senate is here. Our members are coming in tonight. The governor asked us to be here. Uh, we are mandated to be here because we're legislators. This is where we're supposed to be doing the work that we're supposed to be doing. So we are encouraging the House Democrats to come down here, save the state a million dollars a day, which amounts to about $200 million of real savings that we can do one floor session, two floor sessions, and then we leave and we have accomplished what we need to do. I just had a, had a follow up. If Go ahead. That's okay. uh, this is the third year in a row that the state has gone into multiple special sessions. Uh, in your opinions, uh, if the legislature were to pass a policy that the state wouldn't pay per diem past day 90 if lawmakers didn't finish work, could that help them finish work on time? So Liz, I mean, I, I, that's a per diem policy question, and honestly, we're here to talk about what's before us, which is the only thing that's on the call right now. The governor narrowed the call down to the scope so we could focus on House Bill 111, and that's what we're all here to work on. That's the questions that we want to take. We, um, you know, we're at the mercy uh, in the minority this year of being at the whim of the House Democrats, and this is where we're supposed to be. This is what we're supposed to be doing right now is ending cashable credits. It's the right time, um, you know, we have at least, uh, let's see, there's 18 of us. You've got, you know, 20 members down here. There's, you know, a lot of us here, 38 members will be here to finish the job. And 22 people are, um, you know, not here, which they should be. This is the responsibility of the legislature. Liz, real briefly, you know, the legislature I've been proud to see has shown its ability to get together quickly and take action on urgent, significant issues. We came together to pass an operating budget to uh, 